welcome to the marathi ml channel uh, today we are going to see a new video on how to use an open source llm model locally uh, in my previous video i have explained uh, how to fine tune the jema model using lora uh, how to fine tune the llama model using q lora how to evaluate the rack system again i have explained how you can implement the uh, pdf uh, question answer bot using the jema model right so uh, there was one request from one of uh, user of the marathi ml channel he asked how i can use a jema without olama right is there any api api based solution the purpose i do not want to use hugging face pipeline so we know that the olama or the hugging face provide us the uh, facility uh, to use any open source model uh, without downloading uh, locally right uh, so I have provided some of the uh, some of the solution like replicate uh, or the kaggle uh, they are also providing this kind of facility but i thought to use is there any any other uh, and the faster solution is available or not and then i came across uh, the grok um, grok is one of the i can say a provider uh, who provides the options uh, to run open source model uh, on their cloud means definitely you are using their open source model on the cloud for uh, the inference pers uh, purpose now uh, the one thing is that it is currently very popular in the market because of the faster inference thing and the reason they are faster because they are providing the lpu okay so what is lpu lpu is the language processing unit the lp is the language processing unit this is something that they have invented on their own which is a something different than the gpu and cpu and even we know that the tpu which is provided gpu is provided by the google right so uh, one of the good thing of the lpu that is language processing unit it is the fastest inference for the computationally intensive application and we can see in minute practically how we can use so in today's video i had demonstrated on google collab and you can see how it is uh, faster the best advantage they have said that it is a faster time word generation we know that in any generative ai application the words are getting generated so the fastest takes generation if you wanted to access this grok lpu so please visit this website where you can create your account using your email id and then generate the api uh, thing and now currently they are providing free of resources but if you want to use in production then you have to opt for the enterprise kind of solution okay one of the important thing note down currently it does not support any ml trading uh, so if you wanted to use it then you cannot okay so please note that they are not supporting ml training only supporting for the inference purpose okay now if you want to investigate more how this lpo works okay and the inference speed how it increase in the lpo as compared to gpu or cpu then here is the paper please go and visit so that you will get more and more understand okay so uh, this is something the basic rag applications that we are going to implement today uh, and I think everyone knows that if you watch my previous video, I, I think till now you are at least a very good uh, foundation layer, uh, foundations has been established around the rag and something around this topic. Okay, uh, if you feel that something is disconnected, uh, so after this, is watch my previous video so that you will get the more and more conceptual understanding and also uh, more and more doubts will be clear. Okay, let's. Uh, let's understand uh, what we are going to uh, do that so what we are going to do that let's say user asking some question how many assault ships are in africom right definitely the llm right so these llm are hosted in the llm power grok so currently this grok has been provided the three open source llm model one is the jema second is the instral and the third is the llama 2 7b so these are the open source model they have hosted you just need to utilize the name and that llm model is available for your use now we are going to use a vector db so this is the vector db it is for the vector search so whenever user asks this question okay definitely these answers are lies in the sum of the document right 
so these are the documents which are closest to our question is been retrieved from our database and the related document been passed to the vector search so context so the user question plus the relevant document is passed to the llm and llm try to find out the relevant answer okay based on our question and send it to the user back so this is a simple llm application that we are going to do it okay so i hope you understand uh, what is the per what we are going to do okay before uh, moving towards the uh, uh, google implementation sorry google collab implementation so these are the things that we are going to use in our today's demo uh, we will use the langchain as a framework to build this rag application then we will use the chroma db which is again open source for our vector db operations video for the ui presentations and we will use the mistral 7b llm model that is hosted in the rock system these are the tech, tech stack we are going to use for our today's demo let me jump to the uh, today's demo so that you guys able to understand how we can use the rock so just for the uh, to save the time i i already uh, ran, ran this uh, these are the libraries we are going to install grok langchain chroma db radio and the sentence farmer once this is executed then these are the some of the functions or the classes we are going to use from the langchain so langchain already has the uh, step the uh, uh, library uh, or you can say function with the grok so you can import the chat grok then the text loader and the pipe pdf directory loader it is for the loading the pdf data then recursive character splitter to split our text into the chunks then we will use the chroma again langchain has the chroma integration too uh, then embeddings chroma prompt template and this google collab user data so that we will extract the api key from our secret google secret key and other gradio and other related uh, functions now then first of all we are going to load the pdf directory loader okay. so now if you go to this directory structure it is very important that you have you should have the connection so i store my pdf file into the drive my drive and in this pdf so these two it has the uh, information so deep learning nodes it has a uh, deep learning information like definition of deep learning then the uh, the computer vision what is nlp this kind of node and this IPL winner list 2028 to 2022, it has all the information of the IPL matches that is currently going on. So these are the two different documents I'm providing to the, uh, my LLM. And then I, we will ask related question to that. So then once done that, let's first use this pipe data directory to load the PDF. Okay, so it is not defined. This this part so that we will have the classes import so it's executed let's run this ipdf directory so we are loading the pdf data into the loader and we load our text from the pdf into the text variable once done that then we have to do the chunking so we are using recursive character splitter in which we are specifying the chunk size and the overlap chunk so that the different different chunks has the uh, link between it should not feel that the each chunks is de associated with it we have to mention the chunk size the chunk overlap and then we apply the text split now we have the chunks of the document so we have the two documents these documents passes to the recursive and now we have the chunks for those documents now i already ran this this is something that we are using sentence transformer it is one of the famous um, uh, transformer based model to convert the text uh, chunks into the embedding <laughs> and that's why we are using now I have, we have mentioned the device as a cpu because i'm using the cpu for this purpose okay once this embedding library is loaded then we will use the chroma db in the chroma db we are passing the chunks that we have created then the we have uh, giving the name of the collection name where we are storing all the chunks into the grok uh, embeds and we are passing the embedding model that we have just initiated and we are specifying the retriever as a vector store as a retriever so this retriever help us to retrieve the related chunks from the vector db let's execute this we are getting some error here that document 
So the error we are getting because of that uh, because we already imported the embeddings from the lang uh, here this is something the lang chain we have imported but this we are not required because we are using the hugging first embedding uh, but just to save i have renamed this embedding in the embeddings hugging face and message so now we are not getting that error now after that we have to import the google grok api key so if you that console.grok uh, this thing okay you, you can import this data okay now if you go here okay so i already store the grok api key here so this is the specific uh, line of code from there you can extract the api key from the of the google colab and then we are initiating the chat grok we are temperature as equal to zero so we want uh, we, we do not want uh, our model should generate the uh, generate or you know deviate from the actual one it gives the as it is the answer and the neutral i mean to say okay and the model name is equal to mistral x 7b so instead of jema we are using mistral x 7b but if you want you can use the jema instead of that okay now once done that you can run this so that it will extract the api key and initiate the llm as a chat group then this is the template that we are specifying we are specifying that answer the question based on only the following context and we are giving the context so that means the data that we are sending and the question that something that user is going to ask so this is my rack template then we have to pass this rack template into rack prompt so for that we are using chat prompt template so from the template we are uh, passing the rack template now my prompt is created now after that we are specifying the retrial qa from the chain type so here we are specifying the llm then the retriever as a vector store as a retriever then chain chain type cox we are passing the prompt as the rack prompt okay so this is my prompt so my prompt is a consist of the question plus context once this is done that let's say uh, let execute this query just to see how my model is behave so i'm passing the question who is a successful captain in the ipo when i hit this question okay uh, it gives me answer so let me see the what is the answer there is that uh, who is a successful captain the result based on provided and yeah, now it is for indians as per the number of teams in one okay let me say uh, uh which let me try another question which ipo as this see how so the query is that the result based on the information for the question perform well but the information about so pass for the list of winner without any details about the number of time they don't find see that it's it's giving the at least the good it okay uh, let me ask the another question uh, who is the son of um, Chennai super king super king Yes. It's a very interesting answer. If you really wanted to fetch only the result, you can click this pass the result. It will okay, so this is very nice. Now let's develop the UI around it. Uh, it is very simple that you need to first declare the function. We are using the function the process questions. Okay, in the process question, we are passing the user question. So user question is the question that user is providing. And based on that question, we will get the result and we are just running the 
okay so this is very important you first of all it is required to declare a function because in the gradient interface we are just passing the function name that that we have declared in the input we are asking the gr text box so gradient text box so it will create the text box there and from where you can type the question and we are also receiving the output into the gr text box okay and the title we are giving as a chat, grok chatbot and the asked in a document so once uh, it is executed it executed very fastly with one second and launch this uh, gradio ui so maybe it will take few seconds uh, to launch this but once this launch it's great you can access over the internet from any okay so you can share this for the uh, time period you are in google notebook is up okay so let's see yeah. so grok chatbot ask any question about document let's ask a simple question the most important uh say in deep asking a very random question but you can be asked very so, okay it's very too fast now see the because of the grok lpo it literally feels that your inference is very most important feature in complex Let's ask the another uh, of or maybe who uh, what do you think who will win? 2020. Let's see what answer my uh, Mistral 7 will be. So, based on the information, it's equal to the winner the given IPL tournament up to 2020. There is about the referring to the predicting outcome of the sports event often depends. Oh my god so this is a really great answer okay so i hope um, you like uh, i hope you like this uh, explanation of the video about the grok so that now you can use on your laptop it is not required to use uh, google colab i use the cpu so you can easily uh, run on your uh, machine so there is no latency uh, before moving closing this uh, video i really wanted to uh, give references so these are the references help me uh, to create this video so kudos to this and thank you for watching this uh, please like and and subscribe if you have any suggestion queries feel free, uh, feel free to comment on thank you so much see you on the next